A quick tutorial how you do a scatter plot in Excel and I use a Mac here but it should not make any difference. So here are your data the X and the Y data and in order to get a scatter plot you just simply with the left mouse button uh, clicked you just drag the mouse down and highlight both columns the X and the Y value then you go to insert here and you go to this icon here that's XY scatter you want to choose only the ones with the dots on it don't go for the other ones they are uh, pretty nonsense so click on that and you get your beautiful uh, scatter plot. And of course you can adjust that a little bit like that. Now here you've got your dots. Uh, what you want to do is you want to label your axes. So in order to do that, you go to chart design, which is already highlighted and you add axis elements. So you've got an axis title. You go for primary horizontal axis. That's this one here. And you just type in what the name of your axis is. So in this case, it would be X values, something like that. We also want a primary vertical. In this case, let's highlight that and say these are our Y values like this. So here we've got our axis. We could, of course, uh, change the title of that. So that would be not a problem. But what we also want to do is we want to have a, a trend line, a line of best fit. So in order to do that, pick one of the points here and left mouse click it. So all your data points are now uh, selected. And with the right mouse button, click and go to add trend line. So this will put in a line of best fit in it. So we want to go for a linear trend line, a linear best fit line. And what we want is also we want that is the equation displayed on the charge and the R squared correlation. And we check that. And what we see is we have here our equation and the correlation. We can, of course, do that uh, also uh, with uh, Excel. We can let Excel do that with a function. So here we want to have the gradient. And in order to, do, uh, to calculate the gradient, we just simply do a form formula, which is equals slope and I just start typing slope and it tells us then what we need to do. So we have to put in the known y values, not the label of it, just the uh, data points. So with the left mouse button clicked, we drag the mouse down, separated by a comma and now the same for the known x values, left mouse clicked and drag it down. We need to make sure that the brackets are closed and press enter. And here we get our gradient. And uh, we see this calculated gradient is the same that we got here. Now for the intercept, we can do the same thing equals intercept and I just uh, start typing and it comes up with suggestions. We double click and again it asks us for the known y values not the label. Left mouse button click to drag it down comma and the known x value left mouse button Keep it pressed and down. 
And here we've got our intercept, which of course is the same as we have here from the trend line. We can also calculate the correlation coefficient, but in this case it will not be r squared, it will be just simply r, and the formula uh, for that is equals corel. Click on that. And in this case, it doesn't matter whether we choose X or Y first. But again, don't use the labels here. I just do X first, separated by comma, left mouse button clicked. Y next, make sure we are closed with the bracket, press enter, and we get our R correlation coefficient which of course is the square root of this uh, r squared value that we got from the from the uh, equation here so i hope this makes sense and uh, thank you for watching